MD, CEO, Six Sense Interiors. learners you as a parent need to be able to identify what their strengths are what their weaknesses are what their personalities what they gravitate towards and then be more involved in what they school so you don't just abdicate you don't just ab abandon parenting work to the school you have to be involved in what school is um, but i would like to make a case for school and i would like that you make a case for the parents okay. so schools have recently told us that parents just want their child to be first Parents are so competitive that even when you give the child homework, you find the mother or the father or the other brother doing the homework on behalf of the child, which is negating the purpose. The initial purpose was for was it to be a form of evaluation so the teacher can tell where to help the child improve. We have parents being in a bit to prepare the child to the, for the future and quote, become so competitive that they now even wait, don't let me accuse okay. parents. Parents will naturally follow through with whatever it is that they think the system expects or demands mm -hmm. all right and so um if a parent thinks that coming first is what um would give their child a competitive edge they will do everything to make sure the child comes first mm -hmm. it is up to the school to um reorientate parents into understanding that it is not about coming first it is about a child um, interfacing with school to the point where they like school, mm -hmm. they enjoy school, and they have a parents and the children have a more holistic approach to education. Right? It is not about competition, it's about you getting comfortable with whatever area it is that you found as you're 40. So, in school, it could be sports, you know, for some children, it's gaming, for some other children, they are more academic. All right, um, teachers and to school also explaining to parents that it's one is not better than the other. Yeah, it's good to have a great balance of every aspect of education, but one does not augur better or work better, you know, than the other. Mm -hmm. Can we get children comfortable? So for me, it's like math, for instance, mm -hmm. all right? Math has been, has been positioned as being a terror. I want to see the school that makes, that simplifies math to the point where it no longer terrorizes children. I'd like to see this um, this elephant in the room that has been there for hundreds of years, all right? I want to see a, a whole school that, you know, math has become like drama or the arts, mm -hmm. where it is not a feared subject anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can school flip this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is what I am saying as a parent, all right? And this is where institutions like yours come in where you come in to say, math doesn't have to be a terror, all right? Can our approach to math be very different, mm -hmm. yeah? Can we please um, put the spotlight more on English, for instance, mm -hmm. all right? Can we demand more in terms of um, vocabulary, in terms of the enunciation of words? Can, can we kind of shift these so that children come out better balanced, you know? The Nigerian school has, seems, over the years to be so focused on um, IGCSE results, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, these Cambridge, Cambridge results, results. Yeah. you understand, yeah. Can we see how these children will thrive in near real life situations, yeah. And so this is what it means to be equipping the children for life, yeah, yeah.